All right, so if you are like me and you've got a blog set up on an autoresponder through something like Aweber, and you want to see uh, who's who's signing up to your blog and from where, uh, this is how you do it. Uh, first, I'm going to load up my tracker for my blog ads. It's this nifty search feature right here. Here it is, Tim Linden blog. All right, here's my tracker link. I'm going to go to it real quick. You'll see, here's my advertisement. Um, now if you look here, it's got my tracker URL, and underneath there is this conversion image. Now what you want to do is you want to stick that image wherever the person goes when they've done what you want them to do. So for instance, with my blog, uh, they fill out their name, email, click submit. Now if they do that, I want the page that shows up after they click submit to have that tracker image. Um, it's pretty easy. I'll, I'll show you the the view source of this. All right, here is my uh, Aweber code. You can see right here. Here's my thank you page. Uh, Aweber lets you say where to send them after they subscribe. So it's as simple as going here. Here it is. It says remember to confirm your subscription. Most uh, thank you pages for uh, newsletters or autoresponders or whatnot say something like this. Well, what you don't see is, if you view the source, uh, right here is my conversion tracker image. Now, all, all you do is you stick it in there, and then whenever it loads, it's telling track.me to uh, count this as a conversion or a goal or a sign up, whatever you want to call it. And it'll actually show up right here, in this conversions. So I can see right here just by sorting by the ratio that this page gets the best traffic, uh, gets the best results. Um, so that's that's really all there is to it. It's very simple, but when you just look at this image and you don't know what it is, um, it gets a little bit confusing. Now, if you can't ma make that thank you page say something, uh, say you've made this ad right here, but after they click submit, you have no control whatsoever what happens. Well, that's where this little uh, click tracker JavaScript comes in. You can actually pull it up, see the whole thing. You put this on this page. So instead of uh, having all this over here, I just stick it down here somewhere. Um, then when somebody clicks on submit, it tracks them clicking submit. Um, so you won't necessarily know if they put in a valid email address, but it's it's the closest you can get without being able to edit the thank you page, um, and you're still tracking, um, you know, the user initial initiating something. So it's still very valuable to see uh, because if one splash page is getting a hundred clicks on that submit button and the other ones too. Well, you know the other one's working better, whether or not they actually enter a valid email and confirm and all that. Um, so really try to focus on which ads are getting action, um, and that's that's where you get the most benefit out of tracking. Uh, if you're not doing that, it's, it's kind of wasted advertising that you've got going. So uh, there you go. It's that simple. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video. If you got any questions, please call us or send in a support ticket.